former IRS agent and teaching instructor. I'm kind of on my holiday here, so I'm just sitting here, um, just um, have a couple things to say to you to help you. That's my dog, Sammy. I'm, I'm a nationwide expert. I know I'm sitting here in a hat. Yeah, I've been on Fox Business News twice, ABC, NBC, CBS, the briefing room. You just need to listen to what I have to say. I've worked for IRS for 10 years. I've been doing this for uh, 51 years. I have a whole team of IRS experts. You go to my website and learn about me, 777irs.com. Let me tell you one of the most important things you need to know about an IRS audit. It can make or break the audit, and you need to know how to handle this situation. The most important thing, you're going to get audited by IRS. IRS selected you for an audit. The IRS algorithm went through your um, your information, and they found these flags that were popping up different things you return. Now, IRS sent you a letter, and these are the areas they want to look at. That's what happens on every audit. But let me tell you what's going on. Um, the uh, agent goes ahead, he starts with that information, just so you know. It's a starting point. Then he gets a flashlight, goes in on the audit. No, it's not going up your butt. It could. But they're going to start looking for other things. That's just the entry into your audit. You, you need to know that. So. Um, what can happen is um, that audit can go ahead and expand itself, and it can wind up to be three years, very easily be three years. Um, IRS just goes in, and they that's their entry. So how do you avoid IRS going for um, not going over the three years? Um, what they do is they find out your records are sloppy. You don't have good records. And um, you seem a bit disorganized. They know they have low-hanging fruit and easy money to collect. They do. So they go in thinking, well, they're going to do three years. What you have to do, listen to me very carefully. If you're going to do this yourself, which I don't recommend on any audits because IRS can be really nasty. Depends on the auditor. You can get a sense for the auditor right away. You can use us, use whoever. But either way, what you've got to do is you've got to present that first year's audit good. You have to be organized. You have to have the records. And if you don't have the records, <clears throat> have some reconstruction going on. Let me tell you just a simple thing about reconstruction. You may not have every single record. When IRS says you don't have enough records, they say, go, let's go ahead and expand this audit because there's no records. This is an easy case for us. But here's what reconstruction does. Reconstruction says, I don't have the records, but here are some documents to support what I did. Give you an example. We had a painter, uh, painted many, many houses in the area we're in and just didn't have his records. He, he said, everyone says, he put his records the back of the truck, he took off, a rainstorm, they flew, whatever. Everyone's got a story. Everybody's got a story. I've been doing this 51 years. Everyone's got a story. Um, and then, so IRS says, you have no records. We're just allowing everything. So we said, no, no, no. We showed them the work he did with the addresses, the people's names, and these are the houses he painted, and these were the square footage he painted. We easily figured out how much paint would cost for that square footage, and then we went back to one of the vendors and got the documentation. He bought the paint. So you can always use reconstruction, but that first year in showing the auditor you have records, you can't support it is big because you're showing him that you're going to defend what you have. You need to defend the first year. That's really important. And when you do, they usually don't expand the other two years. Anyway, if you need us, we're around. Give us a subscription. We give you good information. There's no fluff here. You want to use us, you can. Use whoever you want. Ain't going to be better, anybody better than us. Thank you for the subscription.